Today's race is totally focused on gravel. I'm gonna be honest, I find gravel super boring. It's just broken bedrock. What I find way more interesting is that it's made of limestone that was deposited here in a deep sea. Come, let me show you. Look at this stuff. I'm 150 meters above sea level and 300 kilometers from the coast. So what would it take to bring the sea all the way back here? First, let's take a look at what happened last time. 300 million years ago, the sea level was about as low as it is today. There was one big ocean, a supercontinent, Pangaea, that was partially glaciated. And then 200 million years ago, plate tectonics increased and Pangaea split up into lots of different plates. That process also formed a whole bunch of new ocean basins. Now, young ocean floor is shallower and has less space for water. So the sea level slowly rose up about 200 meters or so and spilled up over on the continents and looked a little bit like this. With more active plate tectonics, you have more volcanic activity and more CO2 in the atmosphere. And the greenhouse effect melted the land ice and glaciers. 100 million years ago, the sea level was at its maximum. And that's why you have limestones up here and all over France. So quick recap. Can we bring the sea level all the way back here? Well, even if we were to melt all the land ice, it would only give us 70 meters of sea level rise. And that would be enough to drown France all the way to Paris. But to get it here, we would need to raise the ocean floor again. And that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Which means we're gonna have plenty of opportunities for dusty gravel races for a good while still. We really hope that you're enjoying our clips of the geology of the Tour de France and other cycling races, and we love bringing it to you. And there's plenty where that came from, but we can't do it without your financial support. So click on the link, consider a donation, and we hope to see you next year.